Shank. I'm the Professor of Economic and Social History at the University of Oxford. Um, I'm an economic historian uh, and I work on international banking uh, regulation and supervision, um, international central bank uh, cooperation uh, and a lot of issues that are really core to the uh, mission of the Bank for International Settlements, but in a historical context, um, so mainly about the 1960s, 1970s and 1980s uh, and how the system evolved uh, over the course of those quite turbulent decades. Uh, well, the Lamp Lucy Fellowship is a really attractive uh, opportunity for academics to come into a policy-making institution, to spend some lengthy time there, to engage in their own research uh, and share that uh, with the BIS staff, but also attend the seminars uh, and engage uh, with the academic research that's being done uh, here on uh, current events. So as a historian, it's particularly interesting for me uh, to kind of be living through some uh, current history. Uh, as well as doing my own historical research and allowing that to inflect some of the uh, discussions that are happening here at the BIS. My work here was uh, really based around central bank swaps, which is a very important contemporary issue, um, particularly at the time of the global financial crisis, but also in other periods of uh, financial crisis. Um, and the work that I was looking at was looking at the, central, the origins of the central bank uh, swap network in the 1960s. Um, the role that the BIS played particularly as an intermediary in those swaps um, and the way that the swaps were used, Fed swaps, uh, were used in order to affect global dollar liquidity in a way that's got some analogies um, or echoes at least in how central bank swaps were used in 2007-8 to provide uh, US dollar liquidity in European centers, for example, through the ECB. At the BIS, the facilities are really fantastic, um, but probably the most important thing is the ability to talk to people uh, and talk to a fresh group of people. They're not academics, but they're engaged in a particularly policy relevant uh, research. Um, I was able to go to conferences and that, uh, with, uh, with them and sort of engage uh, in wider debate um, outside the BIS. Um, the archives, of course, were an absolute draw for me um, because that's the kind of foundation uh, of the evidence that I use in order to trace through the, uh, the evolution of policy making.